There is a sanctuary of your soul. And what a wonderful thing for the spiritual person to remember that that person can go in to themselves and feel again in the sanctuary of their soul a peace and be immersed in God's love and God's light of illumination. In quiet prayer, you are led to the secret sanctuary of your soul. There, God waits for you and God says to you, do not be afraid. It encourages an inspiration that you will feel, not so much from your mind as in your soul. You will hear words like, come and I will give you rest. And it will be a feeling that you will feel in the middle of the day and in the middle of the night. In the sanctuary of your soul, you are able to commune with God in an atmosphere of love and peace, and you're shielded from any human doubt that would give way to fear. In communion with the Christ, you're renewed in spirit. Christ is always waiting for you with a loving embrace a loving thought, an understanding word, and a peace that passes all human understanding. You turn within, knowing that no matter what is concerning you, the Christ Spirit is available and able. You give thanks that the Christ dwells within you, and turning within, You are entering the sanctuary of your soul for communion with God. In Revelations, it says something that is important to remember. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Well, there is a door that you can stand at and open and go within. In the sanctuary of your soul, I pray this day you will find God's peace, God's love, and God's light.